Today is September 11th. It's hard to believe it was 22 years ago now that those of us who were alive can remember how uh, all of life stopped and then all of life changed after the planes hit the World Trade Center in New York and the Pentagon and the one that crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Uh, I'll never forget that day. I can still see how vividly blue the sky was and uh, receiving a call from Hart Cram uh, who called the church to let me know a plane had hit the World Trade Center and that I should probably go home and put my television on, which I did. And all these years later, um, you know, the trauma and the memories will always be there for the families who were directly affected. Uh, our nation and the world has been changed by an emphasis on uh, security and literally billions upon billions of dollars. And uh, our life has been altered by what happened that day. And uh, today at 6 p.m. I'll be offering the invocation at a 9-11 service of remembrance at the Brewster Fire Department. And you're welcome to join us there. Uh, and for our scripture today, I actually picked uh, a passage from Acts chapter 10. Uh, where it represents a coming together, which is something that we need. Uh, Peter, a Jew, a disciple of Jesus, is in the home of Cornelius, a Roman centurion of the Italian cohort. So you have two men of different ethnicities, different backgrounds, different religious upbringings, different culture, different foods that they eat, vastly different people. And yet what unites them? is the Holy Spirit and the good news of the gospel and in sharing in Cornelius home. Uh, Peter in verses 34 to 43 of Acts chapter 10 gives one of the best summaries uh, of the gospel and Jesus in the whole New Testament. And in the heart of that in verse 38 uh, in the midst of Peter's speech he says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. You know, there's all different kinds of ways we can respond to acts of evil and violence in our world. Uh, most of human history has seen humanity respond to violence with more violence. And the cycle just continues on and on as it always has. Jesus represents a different approach. And part of what Jesus did was he went about doing good and healing those who were oppressed by the adversary, by the devil. And I would encourage you as we remember 9-11, 22 years later, to remember that doing good in Jesus' name is one of the best responses to the evil and the pain that we see in this world.